Here's this week's My Boat feature. Having your boat on a trailer is certainly convenient. It allows you all kinds of flexibility about where you wish to go boating. But sometimes storing your boat, it's a little bit of a problem, particularly if you want to keep it in the garage. And you have a package like this that's just a little bit too long for a standard residential 19 to 20 foot garage. So this week on My Boat, we're going to show you how to install a tongue hinge so you can fold the tongue back and get your boat and trailer into your garage. After supporting the trailer, the jack stand had to be removed from the tongue. I elected to reinstall it on the trailer frame. Before we started the project, we would pre-measured the entire length of the package, starting at the back of the outboard with it in the down position to where we want to make our cut on the tongue here. And we're gonna stay just under 19 feet. And where that puts us is where these old broken clearance lights are. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the clearance lights so we can mark for our cut. Before you mark and start your cut, check the chart in the instructions to ensure that the length of the pivoting section does not exceed the length for the trailer weight and tongue load. Also make sure you pull the wiring back out of the tongue before proceeding any further. I almost blew it. Actual fact the device pretty simple just the two parts and the first one slides over the trailer end and of course you have to mark the holes to get ready for drilling if you prefer you can use the supplied center punch to mark the holes or you can use the casting as a guide when drilling the holes first drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole then a 1 quarter inch hole Finish off with the required half inch bit. Here's a tip, you will need good cobalt bits to drill the required 16 holes. The male casting is then secured using eight of the shoulder bolts and flange nuts. This is going to be the toughest part of the job. Working inside the frame is restrictive and the flange nuts have been pinched. This makes it tough to get them on, but they will stay on. We've got the trailer part done. Now we just have to do the piece of the tongue we cut off. And of course, what you want to double check is make sure that this is fitting the way it's supposed to, so you get your proper hinge motion before. Having installed one casting, the installation of the second casting is more of the same. Next, a fish was used to pull the wiring through the swing section of the tongue. Then the couplings were mated up and the pivot bolt and hinge pin were inserted. Secure the lock nut on the bolt then ensure that the hinge operates smoothly. After applying lube, the rubber cushions easily insert into the pre-drilled holes. Well, that takes care of the installation of the kit components, but there is still one more important item left. Now, this isn't included in the kit, but one of the last things you have to do before you can hit the road is change up your safety chains. Your new chains have to extend from the frame behind the hinge all the way through to your tow vehicle. 